Paradise Killer. Hello friends, this is Self-Critical Automaton, your court-appointed supercomputer. And today it is time for episode 40... 48? 49? Since this might be the last episode, you'd think I would have checked. Alas, I did not. It is time for an episode of my Paradise Killer Let's Play, and today I can't put it off any longer. I'm going to have to walk into the trial room, I'm going to have to confront the judge with all of the evidence that I have hoovered up out of this fascinating, disappointing, strange, intriguing island. An attempt to formulate a narrative, I suppose. Although, one thing I want to mention before we go in is that uh, something of a flaw with the logic of this game, I think, is that we're here to we're here to detect all of the all of the evidence we can find, but we're also required to construct a narrative, I believe, and then we present that in court. So we we aren't judge, jury, and executioner. We are detective. Uh, prosecution lawyer and executioner, I suppose. But we don't have any idea what the law is in this world. We have no knowledge of the laws that we're supposed to be enforcing or adjusting. Like, what is justice? You know, justice is a, a, a thing humanity invented in our brains. It, it doesn't have a physical existence that can be measured. So whose justice are we going to find? Um, what justice will, be, uh, will we be allowed to apply even? Literally, what are the rules here? We don't even know how a trial is going to work in this concept. I don't know how it's going to work. My prediction is that the way it will work out mechanically is that based on the information I have found and gathered over the course of the game, I will be offered different answers like a multiple choice questionnaire to questions the judge asks. If that's the case, I'll be a little bit disappointed. There were other things that could have been done with the idea, I think, but I'm curious to see how it goes. So I suppose it's time to, can I not talk to the judge? Sidebar? No? Okay. I don't believe there's any information we can gain from the judge right now that we haven't already had when we first talked to them. I'm not sure if I can take my gun yet, though. When the time comes to execute justice, she will sing the song of punishment. I feel like the prosecution lawyer should not also be the executioner. The investigator, are you our saviour as well? Is paradise worth saving? Are you ready to start the trial that will determine the fate of the Syndicate? Have you found facts and crafted a truth? I'm ready to work through this with you, Lady Love Dies. We shall examine your case files and cast a light upon the shadowy recesses where truth lies. Are you ready to begin the trials, Lady Love Dies? This is the point of no return. Ensure that you are happy with your evidence and reasoning. There is no going back. Well, I can't find any more facts on the entire island, and I've been through my reasoning with you all, although I've forgotten it in the two days since I recorded that episode. It is cool that you're allowed to start the trials at any point during the game, whenever you feel like you know what's going on. So, let's dive in, armed with as much knowledge as we can possibly have, cloaked in power and majesty. Let's expose the truths. Are you sure, Lady- <laughs> I thought you said this was the, the, the no going back point. Are you sure, Lady Love Dies? This is the point of no return, where we descend into the madness of crime. The penalty for anyone you convict of any crime will be death, as dictated by Syndicate law. Please be sure. It is time to breathe life back into paradise. I'm overjoyed to hear that. Please wait while I assemble the suspects in the Chamber of Justice. The trials begin. Paradise hangs in the balance. Let me explain how we shall uncover truths and lies. We will hold a trial for each case file logged in Starlight. You will choose which suspect you wish to accuse and present your argument against them. I am an impartial tool of justice. I shall analyse your evidence and determine if you have proven your case. Can you break alibis? Can you put the suspect at the scene? How strong is your case? All that matters is that justice is carried out. I am not interested in speculation and weak prosecutions. I need the truth. We will find the suspect responsible for each crime. The door to truth will open. Anyone found guilty will be executed. 
This is the crime to end all crimes. Anyone involved cannot be allowed to infect Perfect 25 with their criminality. You will do the execution. The investigation freak will execute justice. Be confident about who you accuse. Are you clear on how the trials will work? Do you need me to repeat this? I mean, I'm clear on it and it makes sense, but I do, f f I do find myself concerned because there's definitely, there's so many gray areas and so many shadowy bits in between different things. But it looks like, I mean, based on raw facts, if the death penalty is the penalty for every crime that we're investigating, then almost all of these people are fucked. I'm ready to go. Let's breathe life back into paradise. <coughs> Judge? The island is ending. Our home shatters before us. This farce has gone on long enough. It is time to move to the new island, Judge. I am the acting leader. I initiated the shutdown. The prime suspect has been sitting behind bars while the freak runs around the island chasing down false leads. You have until the end of the island to do your trial. The truth may not be as simple as you believe, Architect. I'm doing this for the good of the Syndicate. Perfect 25 is waiting. You can't do that. Judge, the clock is ticking. What does this mean for the trials? We don't have much time, Love Dies. The white smoke of oblivion threatens to consume the truth. You will have one desperate chance to find the truth for each case file. Make it count. So that doesn't actually change anything. That's already what we were told. The rest of the Syndicate are in agreement. It's time to move on and execute Henry. Fuck you. You're overstepping your authority, Architect. Judge, let's breathe life back into paradise. Love dies. You are authorized to once again wield your service weapon. Take hold of a chamber full of justice. <laughs> I love that. I've had a lot of criticisms of the writing of this game, but I love the overall nonsense of Judge's dialogue. It's genuinely great. Use it at the end of the trials to execute the guilty. Any involvement with this heinous crime carries the sentence of death. Judge, this is severe. This is the crime to end all crimes. Any amount of involvement is a heresy against the gods and an atrocity against the syndicate, or do you disagree? I do not. Be strong in your accusations, Investigator. The penalty for any of these crimes is death. It's been a while since I executed justice. The journey to truth and justice begins. Do I... Do I talk to them individually? Oh, interesting. And there's no save points at this stage, although I could just go back to right outside. How are we feeling, Crimson? Crimson. I hope you know what you're doing, lady. You better have the evidence you need for whatever you're planning. This is a nice little chance to say goodbye to everybody. Doctor. Love dies. If you prosecute me, will I get conjugal visits? Sorry, Doc. The punishment for this crime is going to make that difficult. Yeah, we're going to cut his... Uh... Actually, I mean, there's no reason to assume he has a dick. We're going to cut whatever he uses for sex away. Away? Maybe we'll give him something. That'd be interesting. Henry? This is a formality, right? I'm lined up to get my head blown off, aren't I? That's what we're here to find out. Why are you two being tried as a single entity? I still think that's really weird. Lydia? Sam? Hey, LD. We're cool, right? We're in the clear, aren't we? We'll find out a trial. Something tells me they're all going to speak like this. Oh, that's interesting. We've got the sympathetic people lined up on one side, and we've got the assholes lined up on the other side. I wonder if that's intentional. I wonder if that's supposed to instill some kind of a, a prejudicial, like, subconscious element to this. Because we've got basically no evidence against these two. We've got a lot of evidence that Henry didn't do basically anything. But we do have evidence that they did a crime, and we've got tons of evidence against the rest of them. That's curious. That's... Ah, I'm going to be wondering about that. Must be on purpose. Architect. Investigator. This island is ready to die and a new one started. Do not delay in prosecuting Henry. All of the evidence points to him. Ha. Witness. Lady Love dies. This is it, isn't it? The reckoning. The future of paradise. I hope you make the right choices. So do I. Yuri. 
freak, get this over with. We all know who did it, you're wasting my time. Grand Marshal. Nonorecito, you better get this right. Henry did it and needs to be executed. Wrap this up. All right, well, time to get started then. If we go too much over time, I might try and break this episode in half, but that's going to be real difficult since I don't know how long the trial will be. Let's see how it goes. Speak to the suspects and collect your gun. We'll commence the trials shortly. Key item obtained. Investigator's gun. Love dies his gun for executing the guilty. You have retrieved your gun. I hope you appreciate how serious your accusations will be. Return to the stand when you are ready to talk. See, one of the one of the other things that I find curious about this game is that I don't know, like, if I lie to protect someone, is that something the game will understand? Is it possible to convey to the game system? Is that an option I have? If I have evidence against someone to, to make a false claim? I talked about this a while back, many episodes ago, like 20, 30 episodes ago, about the way that a game generally does not allow you to lie. Any any position you state your character is holding is treated by the narrative as being them telling their truth. Uh, which is weird, because you, ca you can't simply lie to someone and then go away. You know, you'll, if you if you lie to a character and then go away and talk to another character and then go back and that person's like, Hey, you said you would do this thing, but you did the other thing. Your character never says, yeah, I lied to you. They just talk about... They equivocate or make strange commentary. Like, anyway... Um, that's besides the point. Investigator, we will begin the trials. Truth or fact? Henry's escape. Henry allegedly escaped during his execution, broke through the prison bars, and headed to the council building, murdering martial guards, traversing the Holy Seals, and killing the council before being apprehended at the scene. How did Henry escape? How did the accused killer break out of incarceration? Is it as the report states, or did something else happen? Henry Division is alleged to have escaped the desolation cell and murdered the council. Investigator, peel back the shroud of inscrutability and bring forward the sweet smile of truth. Oh boy, there's a whole ass thing. Right, so... I can select anyone, including the dead uh, killer demon and also the dead Danai on Gate. But the evidence against Aikiko is absolutely damning at this point. It's extremely unambiguous. I'm not going to read it all again, because it's all things we've heard over the course of the game. But, in fact, I went over my uh, my theory of events. But basically... I, no, you know what? I'm not going to do it. Let's just, let's just go. I'm accusing Aikiko. For all of the reasons I stated last episode. Henry's escape accusing Grand Marshal Akiko 14. Are you sure you want to continue with this accusation? Yep. Suspect confirmed. I believe this was part of a plan by Akiko. Nenorisuto. The freak is lying. I... I still don't know how to pronounce Romanian. The Grand Marshal broke the primary suspect out of the prison she put him in. Present your evidence. Construct a truth. Do I get to present multiple of these, or do I only get to present one piece of evidence? I mean, the time frame is the kind of key on which a lot of it hangs. The time frame in Aikiko's report doesn't match up. There is no way Henry could have got off of the Desolation Cell, made it to the Council Building, traversed the Holy Seals, and murdered the Council, and then be found at 0003. Aikiko lied. Grand Marshal, respect the civility of the courthouse. Do you have a proper response? She's making that up. The freak's making me out to be a liar. She's cooked up a story to frame me. How did Henry cross the island, get through all of the seals, murder the council, and exit the building by 0003? He's got a demon in him. The demon gave him speed and strength. There's no evidence to suggest that. That's correct, Grand Marshal. Your word here is not good enough. You are speculating without evidence to back it up. Present your evidence. Construct a truth. Ah, okay, so I do get to pick multiple things. I wonder... I guess I get to present all of them and then I have to pick nothing at the end. 
Akiko broke procedure when she went to execute Henry. She should not have gone by herself. She was either doing something illicit or giving him an opportunity. Ha, huh, is that the best you've got? I thought you were supposed to be the investigation freak. Speculating with nothing to back it up seems like a poor showing for Judge's big hope. She's right, that is speculation and not evidence. Present your evidence, construct your truth. Oh, okay, I see how it is. So I need, I need hard evidence. I wish, I, it should really let me look at my, look at my in-game, in-game notes, because I can't remember what Henry's alibi breaker was. This is hard evidence, though. The bars on the prison bridge were supposedly torn open by Henry with demonic strength. Starlight analyzed the bars and found traces of thermite, not demonic residue. Thermite's a military-grade explosive that burns through anything. Aikiko faked that part of his escape. Grand Marshal? Never trust computers. Her little calculator has it wrong. Henry is demonic. What does Starlight know about demons? The freak tried to analyze something that Starlight doesn't recognize, and the closest match is thermite. Residue sample. 68.7% thermite, 29% barium nitrate, 2% sulfur, 0.3% polybutadiene acrylonitrate. No traces of unknown chemicals found. Thermite is an antimaterial weapon and burns at an extremely high temperature. Aikiko used it to open the prison bars and make it look like Henry escaped. This is a lie. A good truth. Please let us sample some more. Present your evidence. Construct a truth. So it looks like, to some extent, I was correct. It is essentially a multiple choice, present what you know kind of situation. But the place where the, me the mechanism lives in this is the decision on my part about what is speculation and what is hard, provable evidence. I can break Aikiko's alibi. The truth requires us to examine Aikiko's alibi. Aikiko went to execute Henry, but alleges that Henry escaped at 2352. She claims she found him outside the council building at 0003. I called witnesses as I left the desolation cell to go to the barracks to organize the search for Henry. Can anyone confirm that the Grand Marshal returned to the barracks? The marshals confirm she went back to the barracks. However, it is hard to take their word as they are fiercely loyal to you and refuse to give me physical evidence. Did you confirm the phone call? Aikiko's phone records are apparently classified and the investigator is not allowed access to them. Witness confirmed that he got a call from Aikiko. I took Witness's phone and analyzed the records at the comms tower. Starlight did some backtracing on the calls, and it appears Aikiko lied. The call she made to witness wasn't from the desolation cell. The comms tower puts her location at Syndicate HQ, which throws her timeline of events into question and puts her near the scene of the crime. What's your language in the House of Justice? She's lying. Her little pocket calculator is wrong. She hasn't checked my phone. The data's incorrect. Witness testified that on the call from Akiko, he could not hear the desolation, the desolation cell's distinctive dreadful atmosphere or the ocean. That isn't conclusive proof, but it still suggests she wasn't where she claims. The rock of secrecy has been lifted and the truth exposed. The Grand Marshal's alibi has been broken. Present your evidence. Construct a truth. Uh, I'm not sure about the alibi breaker for Henry, because I don't know which piece of information that's referring to, which is really, really irritating. Henry was dosed up with inhibitors. How could he be escaped if he was sedated? Doctor, was his dosage correct? Yes, Judge, as it has been for the last ten years. Do you have anything to say, Grand Marshal? The demon inside him tricked us. It waited for the right moment. The inhibitors have never been right, but we didn't know. Doctor? That's quite the claim. It would mean that the demon was capable of plotting and fooling us for a decade. There's no medical evidence to suggest this happened. Very convenient that the demon pulled the trick off right at the end of the island. Why not attack sooner? This isn't hard evidence, but I am taking it into consideration. Present your evidence. Construct a truth. See, I feel like I've definitely stacked it against Aikiko. The only piece of evidence relating directly to Henry is this one. So let's find out what happens if I select it as well, although I hope it won't harm my case. I can break Henry's alibi. Lady Love dies. Henry stands accused by everyone except you. Do the facts lie? 
Do you believe in the official version of events? No, the truth is distorted. The facts are wrong. Henry didn't go to the council building by himself. Fuck yeah, this is getting interesting. Henry remembers almost nothing about last night except seeing New Knight. He specifically remembers seeing the goddess. She didn't speak to him. He saw the goddess. The only statue of New Knight is in the barracks, and a normal citizen can't know that because the barracks are classified. Henry has been in the barracks, though. That is where detainees are processed when they are arrested. The statue is in the main barracks grounds. Prisoners don't go through there, correct, Akiko? When I was arrested on Island 13, I only ever saw the entrance to the barracks which connects directly to the underground holding cells. I'm not answering that. It's classified. Grand Marshal, you'll be found in contempt if you refuse to answer. Fine. Arrested individuals are taken through the main gate and directly into the holding cells. Henry could only have seen New Knight if he went through the tunnel that connects the desolation cell to the barracks. When he was arrested and taken to the desolation cell, he'd have had to go through the main barracks grounds, though. That was ten years ago. He's lost all of his memories from that incident. The only thing he remembers is New Knight last night. This sounds like a stretch, Investigator. The only way to get to the council building from Desolation Cell in the window of time stated is via the front gate of the HQ. The nightmare computer logs on the HQ entrance have no record of Henry going through them. I don't believe he went through them. If he didn't go through the entrance, this whole case is thrown into, dis into disarray. Henry was found with the blood of the victims in his stomach, but I don't think he ingested them himself. Oh, okay, so that's not even being presented as a separate piece of evidence? It's weird that I couldn't just pop that up. How else did the blood get inside him? I found this bottle on the rocks below where Henry was found. It had been used to hold blood. Starlight, al 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 Starlight analyzed the blood in it and matched the remains to all the council members. How did it get there? There are no fingerprints, but my theory is that someone took council blood from the scene, placed it in the bottle and forced Henry to ingest it. Why? To scapegoat him for the crime. They were rushed or sloppy and casually discarded the bottle, assuming no one would question the lie. You can't prove this, though. The demonic sigils that cover Henry's body were found daubed in blood at the scene of the first seal marshals. What of them? Henry does not draw those symbols. There are no records of this occurring, and it is not in line with how the demon inside him behaves. The sigils formed on his skin through the projection of demonic language from the demon inside him. The demon scorched him with its own anger. Did the demon make him draw them? No, the demon doesn't micromanage his actions, it just sets him on a path. Henry doesn't speak the demon's language either. I find it unlikely that Henry would perfectly recreate sigils from a language he does not speak. How did they get there, then? Most likely drawn by whoever was trying to frame Henry. Couldn't he have copied them from his own body? Only if he had a mirror and the time to do it. Very well. Excellent work. You have taken the lid off the box containing the truth. Henry's alibi is broken. Present your evidence. Construct a truth. I wonder if I've missed anything, or if that's everything I can give. I have nothing to present. You have proven that the official version of events for Aikiko and Henry's movements last night are total fantasy. Combined with your evidence, you've created a truth that glints brilliantly in the light shone by facts. I have considered your truth, ruminated on implications, soaked in the facts, steeped in the leaves of veracity, examined the grains of legitimacy, my god, they're, <laughs> they're worse than I am sometimes. There is no jury here. I must leave it to the impartial sword of justice within me to stab through the heart of the lies and let the blood of truth flow. Gently cooking for a minute. A truth is revealed. A truth is known. A truth proves. Aikiko guilty. Do you have anything to say, Grand Marshal? The harsh light of truth has shone upon your crime and you will be sentenced to death. You were sworn to protect our beloved council. You pledged your blade for so long. You were a beacon of purity. Now you will be executed and the marshals will lose their leader. The island sequences will not be the same again. Why did you do it? You said I wouldn't hang for this. I beg your pardon, Grand Marshal. This was never part of the plan, you pompous terfa. Again, I have no idea what Romanian pronunciation is like. Who are you talking to? Carmelina. You said this would work, now I have a gun to my head. If I'm going down for this, so are you. The ravings of the guilty lashing out. I've got no idea what she's talking about. Tell us everything, Aikiko. You have nothing left to lose. If you were set up, you can at least have revenge. 
promised to induct my soldiers into the syndicate if I helped you. Now I'm going to be executed. You used me. You weren't careful enough and now I'm going to die. I faked Henry's escape. I was supposed to deliver him to outside the council building, phone witness and report that I'd found him after the council were dead. Carmelina? She's lying. She's been found out in her own little scheme and now she's trying to take innocent people down with her. I took Henry through the barracks to the council building. The official report is a lie. Lady Love dies. Sounds like a conspiracy, Judge. Open a case file. <laughs> I guess the ultimate question will be who was the mastermind of the conspiracy? Which I I honestly I think might still I still think it might be Yuri. Because there's two conspiracies and he's sort of involved with both, maybe? There is evidence to suggest Carmelina may have been the mastermind of a conspiracy to kill the council. Judgment has passed. Henry's escape. Akiko convicted. Your facts have become the truth. Lady Love dies. While you're in here, you do not have access to the phones you have been using to record your progress. Would you like me to save your progress now? So... That's going to be it from me for today, because this is 26 minutes of recording, and uh, I, think, I think I'm good. So join me again next time for more of this thrilling trial. The trial of the century, some might say. The trial of uh, something like 15 centuries. It's been a while that they've been in this time bubble. So I am going to call this one here, and we'll pick up afterwards. Join me again for maybe the thrilling conclusion. I've said that like three episodes in a row now. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe, and share. I also stream on Twitch, and I now have a Discord server for stream scheduling. You can contribute to my existence on Ko-fi or Patreon, and all of those links are in the video description. Thanks so much for watching.